The wheels on the track. The chug of the engine. And whip of the caboose. Sounds we all know that take us back to our days on the Childhood Express. But here, we can all get back on board. Someone will stay here for half hour and watch me, if not more. This is Michael and Lori Koshanik's rail line, built by hand. My wife did one stone at a time and glued them. It took a long time. It was fun. And the rail line around the fishing village at the KOA campground isn't even close to complete. Oh, was just a lot of work, but a lot of fun. A lot of work, but a lot more to do. Piece by piece. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's, it's not meant to be perfect. The rail line project isn't fueled just by the kids, but by each other. Well, we're 42 years 40, already. 42 years. We've yeah. been together since we were just about kindergarten. We lived in the same neighborhood. Yeah. And uh, we were dating when we were about 14. 14. <laughs> And, so, uh, you know, we've been together ever since. A KOA campground must see. When we moved up here, I put it all around my house, and it was going underneath my house. They moved it from their house to the pool after Hurricane Matthew, and now the line just keeps getting bigger and better. Yeah, I just did one dock I did at the beginning of the year, and the other one I just finished a couple weeks ago. I built it right here. Everything here, we made it. My wife did a lot of the painting. I, I built them, uh, the electric, everything lights up at night, and it's really Nighttime, tough. it's really pretty. Like any good partnership. It, you're, you're one, you know? Yeah, you become one. You become one. You Michael really do. Michael and Lori are on board together, while Michael sure. hammers away. You gotta have the small stuff. Lori perfects the details, and the engine whistles through the smoke. If you miss it, I'll be sorry.